Well done, you got the good good yet. My G, right here. Do you want to sample the ting? Yeah, I'm going to sample the ting first. Say no more. Good product, clean product, my guy. Yeah, it's looking good. My guy, my guy, my guy. Okay, then two, yeah? Safe fam. 5050, oh, five, oh, oh, you no, don't no, know no, me. Wait again. Good morning, gamers. I'm looking at the viewfinder and my hair is clapped. I am looking at like Emmett from the Lego movie. So let's just fix that quickly. Merch update, merch update. It went really, really well. And I just want to give a big massive thank you to everyone who ordered in the first couple of days. Those orders are going to be packed and sent away as soon as possible. And if you're sitting there like, Damn son, I wish I got myself some of that Sickmate merch. Well, it's not too late. We have a few pieces left on sickmate.com. Yes, I have my own domain main. Domain main. So that is all well and good, my good man. But just get down to business. What is going on today? What's up with this whole new front room aesthetic? Did you move your plants from the windowsill for aesthetics? So as many of you may know, because I am absolutely certain that you watched the last video, have you? My love for vintage has been reignited. So today I am going to be taking you to the thrift stores, give you a little bit of a day in the life, even though this video is going to be recorded over two days. You're going to come thrifting with me and I want to do a little bit of a status report. I'm going to show you how much a week's worth of thrifts cost. But before we do any of this, we have some responsibilities, my good man. Let's go to the post office and put this merch to rest. Is that how I'm going to say it? You have to secure the bag however you can. Zoom into that label. It's Fugsy Malone, bro. Oh, tight this little heater. Kaboom. I haven't seen a champion in time. Done though. exciting adventure outside and I just have to show you oh stop putting your thumb over the camera what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into the bedroom and price up these thrifts low-key tired let's carry on with the video so this is everything that I've picked up today you might hear if you listen carefully there's like a ticking going on inside of there so let's just tip out the bag and let's see what we've got today fam That ticker noise is coming from this particular item. There's receipts everywhere. Do a professional unboxing. 
all my days, all my life. I bought this little clock. I have no idea why I bought it. I just thought it was really funny. The pendulum moves these little football players. American football players, don't get it twisted. And I don't know why I bought it. So here is a different way of doing trip to the thrift, I suppose. I used to do this a lot in my Instagram stories, just, you know, straight to the point dares to close. So firstly we have this vintage, it's the other way around. So firstly we have this vintage Barretta company pair of shorts. These are super wavy, they remind me of Fresh Prince. Next we have a vintage Nike windbreaker, got the big swoosh on the front there. You've got that vintage looking tag looking very nice. On the back of the neck you've got that Nike spell out and on the bottom right you've got this little wavy swoosh just doing waviness. Whole type from Nike windbreaker. Next we've got an Yves Saint Laurent shirt not really much to say about this one i think you know it's just got the subtle ysl of it all very wavy oh look another eve saint laurent super classy flex at the office this t-shirt is very interesting this one is an art piece that says art can't hurt you i looked this up online the guy's an artist he's done a few of these paintings and this is vintage from the 90s how can you tell single stitch on the cuff and normally there's like a vintage label there but art. Oh. Next we have a Canada souvenir t-shirt with this cat. Oh, I know it's not a cat but do you know what I mean like. Next we have a 2010 nerd t-shirt and bill label. Let's just remove this. Oh what? Did somebody say Umbro? Yes, we got some Umbro England heat. Trust me, this isn't the last you're gonna see Umbro today. But this I thought was really nice. The material reminds me of somewhat of like a towel. Form UV technology, it's all there. Hold up the Umbro. But wait, there's more. This is just a simple t-shirt, so move on. This I really like. Got all of these funky little characters on the front here. They kind of look like knockoff characters of actual fairy tale characters, I suppose. Like that's King Kong, but he's just, you know, six foot instead of like 60 foot. Ant-Man got himself in a bit of a situation. The gang is all here. And yeah, we've got the New York City, USA. And last but not least, we have a champion jumper. I haven't found champion at the thrift store for a very, very long time, so I'm actually really gassed to pick this up. Small champion embroidery, champion eco, authentic, size medium, very, very wavy, my favorite find of the day by far. So that's everything we picked up today. There it all is, but wait, what's this in the background? What's this? One, two, three three bags full nah what's going on this is what i've been up to since the 99 video i've been thrifting like an absolute madman i'm not going to talk through every single piece because that's long so enjoy a speedy little montage <laughs> A nice big off BJ t-shirt, but ha, don't demonetize just yet because it stands for Billy Joel. The Hooters t-shirt, delightfully tacky, yet unrefined. Trip to the demonetized. I got this t-shirt from a car boot sale. It's a vintage tee from underneath what? They're like a really, really old, underground punk band that was around since 1988 to 1990. They were literally only three years old. This is one of their t-shirts. It's a little bit distressed, but I think it goes with the look really well. Single stitched, and this is a really, really wavy vintage piece. I'm going to sit you down really nicely. And another subtle favorite of mine has to be this Summer Break t-shirt 2006, because if we look at the back, at first, I thought that said Reading, and I thought this was like a summer break Reading Festival t-shirt, but it says Reading, a good habit to get into. Reading, summer break.
This is definitely one of the larger thrift hauls that I've done. It's just because I've been sitting on it. I, I've closed my Depop page because I emptied it out. All this has to go on the Depop page very, very soon. I also thrifted this wavy as Reebok jacket, vintage athletics department. It's just so sick. So now it's time to do the value price up. So bear with me. So all together, everything that I've bought here today has come up to 160 pounds 59 pence. Boy! So that was an absolute madness, man. Like seeing a big, massive bulk of vintage just gets me gassed every single time. The thrifts have been picking up a bit more recently. I experienced a bit of a dry spell, but now we are fully back in business. Many of you might be sitting there thinking, oh, like, why would you expose yourself? Why would you tell us how much you can spend and earn thrifting? It's simply because I want more people to do it. I want more people to thrift and get that good, good out there for a number of reasons. The vintage scene is so sick. I love picking up something that I found from my childhood. Just cool, unusual pieces that you'll never find in a high street store. And just the fact that it's a cool, sustainable side hustle. I hope you enjoyed this very exciting episode of lo-fi thrifts to sell and make money to. It's the working title. If you enjoy what I do here and you want to support the channel, then please consider subscribing and pressing that little bell icon as well. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. Thank you guys for watching my video. Bye.